Welcome to Thomas and Friends Adventures. Tanzania. Posed to follow Ace, but he went on with his group. And I had to find a way to Dar es Salaam where they would stop next. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! We can do this! Faster than the speed of light! What a colorful car! The journey to Dar es Salaam was not easy. More trucks kept being added to my train. And that's when I met Nia, who cheerfully proposed to help me. Yes, Thomas. Even though you refused to help at first, Nia still helped by pushing your heavy train from behind. did a great job! You win some village homes! Thomas finally arrived at his destination, Dar es Salaam! It was time to look for Ace! Nia was still helping me, even though I didn't want her to, when something unexpected stepped onto the tracks. An elephant! Oh gosh, that elephant was ginormous! I didn't know what to do! Wow, but luckily, Nia knew exactly what to do. I did need her help after all. So happy when I finally found Ace, who challenged me to a fun race. Of course I could beat him. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Marvelous! You've won some city buildings. It would have been so much easier to find Ace if there had been tracks everywhere across the desert. Well done!
Sometimes you feel like your friends can get in the way of the things you want to do by yourself. At first, I thought that Neo was annoying, always following me around, ready to help. Well, all I wanted to do was race with Ace. But I realized that I needed her help, and we became great friends. <coughs> Tanzania! I told a silly story or two here on Sodor, but once I twisted the truth so much that I got in big trouble in Australia. This is a true story, and that's no lie. <laughs> I was working in the Australian Outback, pulling goods trains. I heard my friend Shane shouting in a funny voice. Three, two, one, go! Amazing job! You did a great job! You win a swimming crocodile! Shane is a tour guide in the Australian Outback. I traveled with him on his guided tour once. It was a fun thing! Shane had a funny way of explaining things. He introduced himself as Shane the Plane, told a story about a crocodile hitching a lift, and presented luxury apartments for termites. The passengers were laughing along. You are right on time! Shane always liked to joke with Thomas. He quickly pulled ahead of him, saying, G'day, Tomo! Tomo? <laughs> That's not my name! How silly! I had to race to catch up to him. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Don't be late! Splendid! Right on time! Congratulations! A chomping kangaroo! Let's run! One day, I showed up at Pine Tree Station. Shane wasn't anywhere to be found. Passengers for the tour were wondering where the tour train was. And of course, Thomas thought it might be fun to step in for Shane. 
I was sure I could be just like Shane and help the passengers have a great time. I started to make up stories and got caught up in my own imaginary stories. Three, two, one, go! Amazing job! <laughs> Wonderful! You win a rickety bridge! Welcome to the Outback! A, um, wild, dirty land full of, uh... Mysterious, weird things, and funny-looking animals. Thomas was making it up as he went along, and he couldn't hear Aubrey as she was trying to warn him about the crossover. We have these giant kangarabbits, and millions of crocodiles, and these here are uh, luxury mansions for um ladybugs. Then, sidetracked by his stories, Thomas saw an engine passing by and rushed to catch up, thinking it was Shane. But it was Tamika. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster than the speed of light! You are very fast engine. Wonderful! Here comes Shane! Thomas had drifted onto the wrong track and it was too late to back up. You are right on time! Aubrey told me I was on the wrong track! I should have listened to her, but instead, I was caught up in my imagination. I kept on going. And we've got a big red bus driven by the Queen of Australia! It looks great! Well done! A waterfall! Thomas was too distracted to notice the broken bridge ahead. I got stuck on the bridge. I couldn't move. I didn't know what I was going to do. Well done!
Have you tried to put other engines on your own railway? I'm sure they will. What did you do, Thomas? You're causing confusion and delay. But sir, I just wanted to be a cool tour guide. What now, Tomo? Got yourself in trouble? <laughs> when I woke up, there weren't any crocodiles or a surfing Sir Topham hat, but I was still stuck on that bridge. But then... It was Shane taking us back to safety. Isla the plane had flown by and warned Shane about our situation. Congratulations! Here's Gordon! Let's ride! I guess there's a difference between making up jokes and making up facts. I was wrong to say such silly things about Australia. Australia is a country full of natural wonders, such as the Red Center and Kakadu National Park. It's also home to many unique animals, like crocodiles, termites, koalas, and kangaroos. Have you ever told a tall tale or said something that wasn't exactly true? I've made things up a few times. From now on, if I make something up, I'll make sure everyone knows it's not real. It's just a silly joke. All right, let's ride along to discover the splendors of the Australian Outback. Watch for the fireworks on the way. 